Hello, welcome to iFocus Tutorials. In this video, I will be explaining the rules for KMAP simplification. As you all know that there are many ways to solve an expression using KMAP. So I will be listing uh, these uh, rules uh, one by one. It is not necessary to solve uh, any KMAP using uh, these rules uh, step by step, but uh, you will require all of these rules when you are solving the KMAP. So uh, let's uh, start. First uh, is uh, to choose uh, whether uh, the expression that you have been given is an SOP expression or a POS expression. Now, if you don't know the concept of SOP and P uh, POS, then you can follow my previous video to check what is the concept of SOP and POS. But right now, if you don't know the concept, it is okay. I have given an example of SOP and POS here only. So the SOP expression is nothing but uh, the sum of products uh, which uh, means that example can be written as uh, if you see these terms these are nothing but uh, multiplication terms and these terms have been added together so it is called as sum of products whereas POS expression is nothing but if you observe here these are addition terms that have been multiplied together so these are called as product of sum terms. Now, first uh, the rule for KMAP's uh, simplification is that we have to choose whether the given expression is an SOP expression or it is a POS expression. So you can be given an example like this expression or this expression. Otherwise, you will be given a symbol. Now this symbol, if you observe here properly, this symbol denotes an SOP expression whereas this symbol denotes a POS expression. Now you must be thinking what are these numbers written here. So these numbers are nothing but uh, when we see the KMAP actually you will observe that these numbers are nothing but the box numbers you can say. So the uh, symbol which represents SOP uh, will be given with some certain box numbers. Similarly, here also when you will be solving a POS expression, you will be given certain box numbers. Now you will say what are these box numbers, why we require these box numbers. So I will let you know this concept uh, in detail when we will solve uh, the KMAP actually. Now when we are solving the SOP expression, what we have to do, we have to uh, fill ones in that boxes. So you will be filling one when uh, the respective box number is given. Similarly, when you are solving the POS expression, you will be filling that box with zeros. Now the second step is uh, to choose uh, the KMAP properly. So the KMAP can be of two variable, three variable or four variable. In these videos, I will be considering the example of only two, three and four variable KMAP. So I have drawn the structure for only two, three and four variable KMAPs. Now you may be thinking that what are these variables and where we will get uh, these variables. So if you observe my first step, in the first step I have taken alphabets like A, B, C. So when we include all the three letters that is A, B, C, then we will need a three variable KMAP. If my combination of the expression is using only two variables or two alphabets, then I will require a two variable KMAP. Similarly, if I include the variables like A, B, C, D, then I require four alphabets. So it will require a four variable KMAP. Now, is it necessary to include only A, B, C, D alphabets? No, it is not compulsory. You can include any other alphabet uh, as of your choice. Now, if you observe the structure of these KMAP, I have written some combination of zeros and ones. Now, what are these zeros and what are these ones that I have written? Basically, these are the Cray codes. Now, if you think these are binary numbers, no, it is, it is not a binary sequence. It is a Gray code sequence. Now, what is a Gray code sequence? If you observe here, when we are moving from one number to another number, there is only a change of single bit. So if you observe here 00 and 01, only the second bit have been changed. If you go from this number to this number 01, 11, only a single bit has been changed. So this is nothing but a gray code sequence. Now if you want to solve an expression using a KMAP, then it is necessary to include a gray code sequence and you cannot include a binary sequence to solve your KMAP. If you observe inside the cells or uh, we call it boxes, there are certain numbers that I have written in each of the box. 
सो दीज नंबर्स आर नथिंग बट द नंबर्स दैट आई हैव यूज इन द रूल नंबर वन सो इफ यू ऑब्जर्व द रूल नंबर वन आई हैव यूज अ सिंबॉल एंड इन द ब्रैकेट आई हैव यूज सर्टन नंबर सो दैट नंबर इज नथिंग बट द सेल नंबर ऑफ दिस रिस्पेक्टिव थ्री वेरिएबल और फोर वेरिएबल और अ टू वेरिएबल के मैप now you may be thinking that is it necessary to learn all these numbers in the boxes then definitely not it is not necessary to learn all these numbers once you start solving the k map it you will get a habit to write these box numbers and it will be easy for you to solve them now the third step is uh, to group only adjacent ones or adjacent zeros means when you are uh, grouping any number you have to group only either ones or only either zeros so i have given an example of a two variable k map here and i have grouped ones here which are adjacent ones adjacent means what two boxes which are near to each other that are adjacent box so we can call a horizontal line as a adjacent box or a vertical line as a adjacent box so if you consider an example of three variable k map this is wrong why because i have grouped one and a zero which is not allowed if you take an example of uh, this that is a four variable k map i have grouped four zeros together so all these four cells or all these four boxes are adjacent to each other so this becomes a group now if you consider this example i am grouping ones only that is correct but i am grouping in a diagonal manner which is not allowed so an important point to note here is that you can group ones and zeros but they should be either in horizontal manner or they should be in a vertical manner now in this example i have grouped a combination of two numbers whereas in this example i have grouped a combination of four numbers so what is this two number and what is this four number so that is nothing but our next step that is the grouping priority the next rule is uh, of a grouping priority so the grouping priority is uh, by octet quad pair and single so the highest priority goes to octet and the lowest priority is uh, to a single so what is this the combination of these groups is uh, made in terms of 2 raised to n so i have considered the example still only four variable ko k map so i am giving the example till octet only now you may be thinking that what is this octet or what is this quad when we make a combination of eight ones together or eight zeros together it is called as octet similarly when we make a combination of four ones or four zeros together it is called as a quad then a uh, two ones together or a uh, two zeros it is called as a pair and a single one or a single zero is called as a single so now i have taken an example of four variable k map here and i have uh, written eight ones together now you may be thinking that why i have taken it as a group why because the priority to octet is highest priority so i have taken a combination of octet here now you will say that i uh, no i don't want an octet here i want two quads together right you can make two quads together but what the resultant expression we want is we want the simplified expression so that will not be a simplified expression so there will be another step to solve that expression again so what uh, we have to follow we have to follow the priority means we if we have a, a group of eight ones or eight zeros together we We have to form a octet first, and rest will follow these rules. That is, quad, then a pair, then a single. To get the information about the tutorials, press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get the notification. Now the next rule is a uh, what a uh, grouping is not allowed. So the grouping of three, five, or seven that is not allowed. Means if I take an example of a four variable k map and I have uh, an SOP expression which has a uh, three combinations. So three box. I have filled it with one. So here, the combination of these three is not allowed. So we can't make a group of all these three numbers. So this is not allowed. Similarly, if I take an example here, I have four ones together. That is right. But the fifth one that is here, and I make it as a group, then that is not allowed. So uh, again, if you take an example here, here I am making a quad itself. That is correct. But what a rule number two says? It says the combination. of only ones or combination of only zeros is allowed the combination of ones and zeros is not allowed so this combination is again a wrong combination 
Now the next rule is uh, that uh, the groups can overlap each other. So if you take an example in this key map, this example has a total of six number of ones. So I have made a quad here and this one I have overlapped to make a pair here. So this is allowed. Similarly, if you take an example here, I have made a combination of zeros to take an example of POS. So this is nothing but a pair that I have made. So these two zeros considered as a pair and this zero is used again to pair it with an another zero so here I have made two pairs so again this is allowed so this is the next example that I have given here you can pause the video here you can check uh, what combinations can be made of these uh, how many ones are there there are 10 ones so you can uh, guess what the answer is for this combination and uh, you can write it in the comment section so now if you say that uh, you have made two quads here and uh, let's say a pair here. So this is a wrong answer. Why? Because uh, the priority for octet is the highest priority. So the correct answer would be this. I have to make it as a octet here and these two remaining ones I have to group it as a quad with these two ones here. So the correct answer would be a single octet here and these two remaining ones will be combination with these two ones. So these two ones will be used as a overlapped group. Now when we say that uh, the groups can overlap, there are many chances that uh, the groups may form a redundant group. Now what is this redundant group? If you take an example in this four variable kmap, uh, what is the combination that I can make? I can make uh, a quad here like this. Then uh, I can use uh, this one to form a pair here. And uh, I can use uh, this one to form a pair here again. Now, if you observe here properly, what I have made, I have made a quad here and I have made two pairs here. Similarly, if you take an example here, so I can make a quad here again. I can make a pair here and I can make a pair with here also. Now, if you take an example, both of these K maps, these K maps are forming a redundant group here. Now, you will say, where are the redundant groups? We are not able to see any redundant groups here. If you observe this pair, then this pair is nothing but a redundant pair. Now, why is it called as a redundant pair? Because if you observe an example, I will write it again. I will uh, draw the K map again and uh, so it will be easy for you to observe the change. So this uh, I have taken it as one and I have two ones here. So if you observe here, I make a quad here. That is correct. Now if I am making a pair here directly, then there is no need to group it again with the one that is already as a part of a quad. So this pair is nothing but a redundant pair in this case. So uh, the redundant groups or the redundant any group that is it can be a pair, it can be a quad that groups are not allowed in kmap. If you observe this kmap also, this pair, if you observe this pair properly, then it is nothing but a redundant group that we have made. Now when you are making a groups that are overlapping each other, it is very important to check whether our groups are not making any redundant groups. Now the last rule is uh, that uh, the groups can be wrapped. Uh, now what is this wrapping? If you observe these K map, the left hand side, all this entire column can be grouped with this entire rightmost column. So these can make an octet here. These are not two quads. These can make an octet here. Similarly, if you take an example here, all the four corners can be grouped together. So this make a quad here. So similarly, if I take an example uh, like uh, mm, let's take an example a new K map. I will draw it uh, for you here and uh, I will take uh, a three variable K map here. So if you say these are my one and these are my ones so I can wrap them together and I can make it a quad here. So when you are making uh, the groups in the K map uh, this condition also should be considered. Now uh, again uh, this is an example for you. You can uh, solve this example and uh, let me know the answer in the comment section. So this is it. Uh, I guess I have covered all the rules for uh, KMAP simplification. I hope that uh, you have uh, understood the rules for KMAP simplification. 
and uh, so thank you zero one creates a confusion that there is no common term here but we are not comparing